You may have a problem with prospecting on social media and you don't even realize it. Now, if you are doing well with prospecting as a network marketer on social media, these tips I'm going to give you are going to take it to the next level. My name is Kelly Dean. I help network marketers grow their downline online in an automated way to save them a lot of time and their relationships. So let's jump into it. Now, if you've been prospecting on network mar on social media for your network marketing company for a while, you've probably run into a couple of these challenges. I'm going to show you what they are and then I'm going to show you actually how to fix them. Okay, so first one, first problem is usually social media and it started with like Facebook is all based around friends and family. And so you start posting about some random product or service or thing that you start providing and friends and family start getting weird. They start saying, hey, what are you doing? Is this one of those things? Why are you trying to sell us? On Whatever, right? And so your social media platforms are usually all based around your friends and your family. And this can really get into the mind of a lot of people. They start thinking about like, okay, what do I post? Like if I post this, what are they gonna think? Are they gonna treat me differently? What if my employer sees this? What about X, Y, and Z? What about all these people that are going to be seeing my posts? And here's the, and that's a real challenge that most marketers in general run into is they're trying to prospect and market to people that aren't even going to buy their products or services. There's this saying, it is easier to get a customer to become a friend than a friend to become a customer. So just think about this next time you start posting on social media. Now, I'm, I'm not saying you don't not to do it because there are friends and family and people that will buy your products and services, but that low hanging fruit will eventually dry up and you need to find a way to get in front of new people. And that's what number two is. A lot of social media platforms these days are limited. What do I mean by limited? It just means you post out something and it is only shown to a very small section of your of your followers. Say you have 5,000 friends on Facebook. They will only show it to maybe 500 at most. That's like 10% from my experience. So a lot of social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, it's limited. It's, it's not going to show your, your posts or your content to enough people that actually might even be the right people because, and here's how the algorithms work with social media, if they push it out to a small little section of people and that small section of people don't like it, comment on it, uh, view the video, whatever it is, all the way to the link, then the algorithm will just kill that content. The algorithm will just get rid of that content. It'll just say, it's not good. We're gonna put it to the side and make place for someone else's content that actually gets likes and comments and views and shares and whatever it is, okay? So you want your content to go to the right people that will like and comment and share, and then it actually will start going out to more and more and more people, which usually will actually buy your product service, okay? So I'll show you what you need to do with this in just a second, as well as what can you do about this friends and family thing. Number three, you could be posting on social media for the last 10 years, right? Say you've been on Facebook for 10 years. How many of those posts are still working for you. And that's the third problem is a lot of these posts, they're not working for you. They're not passive. So these social media platforms, they're not passive anyway. Something that you did 10 years ago should still be working for you today. And that's the whole goal of getting into network marketing is to have something that's passive, how to use leverage, usually other people's time and money. But what if there's a way you could leverage social media to be working for you for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years into the future? And that's what I'm gonna show you. So how do you actually fix these things? So three things here. Number one, with friends and family is make a completely new account. And so like you could have it be a Facebook page, you could have it be a Facebook like fan page um, or Instagram, like just make a whole new Instagram account. If you're on TikTok, make a whole new TikTok account and do not, unless you have like mental willpower of a thousand beasts, uh, I don't even know what that means, but do not share your new account with your old friends, families, people that have been following you for 5, 10, 15 years. Okay. Don't share it when you first get started because people like your, your mindset might be fragile. Your confidence may not already be there. But once you build up this new account to a certain point, people will start being like, Hey, what are you doing? Hey, how are you making this passive income? And then you can start sharing it and people are like, Oh my gosh, you've been doing this thing on the side. I didn't even know. So that's what I'd recommend. Okay. Create a whole new account. You can make content that's specific to your product, your service, whatever it is that you're selling. And then you don't have to worry about what will people think? What will I post? You already know, Hey, this new account is all about my content for my product or service. Okay. Number two, limited. Okay. So the old social media platforms, okay. The legacy social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram, those are limited. Okay. So I would recommend making this new account into the new realm of social media platforms. I'm I'm talking about TikTok and reels. Okay. So Facebook has started to do this. Instagram started to do the reels. TikTok has taken over. When um, Twitter comes out with Vine, I would jump on that as soon as you can. 
Okay, that one's gonna be huge. I'm gonna be making a video on that in the future. But the reason why is because these reels and TikToks and the vines, I'm guessing on Vine, but they will show your content to people that it thinks are interested. And you have a better chance of going viral on these platforms than making your old, old content, those pictures. Like, just trust me, just make reels and you will build a huge following of people that actually are interested in your product services, okay? So if anything, just do this with your new account. Reels, 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 TikTok, 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 okay? Now, the, the challenge here with TikTok and reels is they have the same shelf life of social media platform of it can go viral I get 2 million views but then it, it, it dies and goes pfft, really quick so what you want to do and this is what I talk about in my recruiting machine challenge 20 day it's a 21 day recruiting machine challenge you can check out the details down below every single day I will send you a video with a step-by-step -step guide to building out your recruiting machine every day you get a video with an action step at the end of 21 days you'll build out this recruiting machine of which I'm talking a little bit about here one of the things in that challenge I tell you about is you want to use TikTok to get the reach out. You want to use the reels to get out there, but then you also want to have a passive site. And this is where people are actually, it's called search. And this is why your posts on Facebook and Instagram from 10 years ago are not working for you is because they're not searchable. So you want to make content that's searchable and you want to make content that is um, scalable. It's like reachable. It, it reaches people. Okay. So you want to make searchable content and you want to make reachable content and you can use the reach to help you get with the search. I know that's kind of like confusing, but I had this video and specifically Specifically, I'm talking about YouTube. I made a video, it's been eight years now, and it's still getting views today. It's people are searching for the content. Now, the content is just a music video of a thousand miles by Vanessa Carlton. And so people search for it, they like it. So it's a video I just edited together of me singing with this girl and we're all singing together. I have actually since uh, delisted it, it's unlisted. If you want to see that video, feel free to reach out and I can send it to you. But the point is, something I did eight years ago was still working for me today. And so you want to be able to have searchable content that people can find, answers their problem, and then leads them to the solution. If you want to learn more about that, again, join the 21 day recruiting machine challenge. You'll have at the end of 21 days, you'll build out this recruiting machine that will work for you for the rest of your life, 24 seven, 365 worldwide. So you can make sales in your sleep, generate leads, qualify people, and build a team and passive income passively. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check out the details down below. So that's it for today, guys. Make sure you go out, make your new account, get started with your reels, and then start making searchable content as well. You guys are awesome. Go out, be great, and create your freedom.